I'm a citizen and parent in the Anoka Hennepin School District. I have a daughter that attends middle school there. I know that she's had a good education up to this point. But with the cuts that I see in the future, I'm really concerned about what's going to happen between now and her leaving the system in another five years. In 1933, Governor Olson spearheaded uh, the first income tax in Minnesota. And I think none of us likes taxes. But the reason that he implemented the tax and was able to get it through the legislature is that it provided funding specifically for education in Minnesota. And it helped fulfill the Minnesota Constitution's mandate that the state provide for a general and uniform system of education throughout the state. So even in the depths of the worst economic depression that has ever faced America and Minnesota, Minnesotans said, we value education and we're willing to pay for it. I'm a senior at the University of Minnesota. Very hard worker. Um, my uh, junior year of high school, I started taking uh, both AP classes and post-secondary classes out at the community college near my high school. And so by the time I came into the U of M, I already had 41 credits done. I'm currently $74,000 in debt. About $35,000 of that is in private loans, which the interest rates have gone re gotten really bad in those. I don't think that my situation is a very rare uh, incident. Uh, I know the amount of loans I have may be more than what you see as the average student, but for the most part I, I, know, I have friends who are in the same situation where I am where most of their education was paid for by student loans.